Hello. Uh, welcome to Professor Alexander Dugan of Moscow State University's continuing Open University Lecture Series, his course on ethnosociology. Today's lecture will focus on the processes of ethnodynamics. Professor Dugan? Thank you very much. Now we are going to discuss uh, what ethnodynamic is. We have already seen that ethnos is represented for itself as something static. And this uh, static conception of the ethnos is a kind of goal to conserve and to continue. So it is not only, uh, only constatation that ethnic structures are static, but also that is a kind of moral value. So ethnos as a structure is static, but at the same time it strives to be static. And that is very important distance that is introduced here. So, static picture acquires a normative quality. Uh, it is a kind of ideal ethnic society strives for. So, ethnicity not only is the same and constant, uh, cool and equilibrated, but ethnos strives to be such. So it is a kind of uh, goal of ethnic existence. In this exception, there is some distance introduced between what ethnos really is and how it conceives it to be. The distance between the reality and representation. And this distance between the reality and the representation gives the space of the will. So the ethnos strives to be the same. So it could be represented as the society that struggles against all the new aspect that could be get, that could happen with it. So the structures struggles against novelties, against, against uh, that could be extra for its uh, normal living. But in the reality there is a kind of cultural, historical and natural entropy uh, that Ethnos is obliged to affront because some uh, traditions could be lost, some rights could lo uh, lose their meaning or some important procedures. So, ethnos is in reality in the battle against the time. Normatively, normally ethnos doesn't recognize the existence of time, but the time nevertheless exists in the fact of some danger to lose something from this ethnic structure. And this realistic point of possibility or danger 
to lose something is an uh, everlasting threat, threat to the ethnos. So we could introduce dynamic state of ethnos that represent a kind of struggle against real in favor of normative. So the, the reality is conceived as something that endangers normative understanding of ethnic structures. And ethnos is obliged to react against this threat. Uh, so ethnos, to, in order to conserve its structures as they are or uh, as precisely as they should be, is obliged to repair always its own structures. So it should work. That is a reason, profound reason of practice or agency. So ethnos is obliged to work, to act. And the most profound reason of this work, labor, of this action represents the space of dynamic. So dynamic consists in improving always the concrete situation, bringing it to the normative state. So the ethnos struggles against the time as entropy for the time as the eternal return. That gives the reason for existence of many aspects of ethnic life. For example, we have talked already about the function of shaman, of the figure that is implicated in any form of restoration of normative stay, stage of ethnic life. So we could regard this kind of activity of repairing reality, restoring reality, and improving all kinds of disorder that could happen in the course of ethnic life as precisely ethno-dynamical actions. And the shaman restoring the same and supporting everlasting static structure of fatness in the reality is always in work, is always functioning, is always, always acting. And this activity is the activity to restore the same against the possibility of the change or eventuality of the change. So that is a kind of activity, agency, directed against the change. So the, the reason and profound mechanism of ethnos is organized as the activity directed against all possible changes that could happen in the course of ethnic life. So, in order to time uh, to be the time of everlasting return or circular time or no time at all, ethnos as a society should fight against the other 
cursed time, negative time, that is not, is not recognized as such, but it is, uh, that is dealt with. So the Atnas knows something about danger to its everlasting identical existence. And the, uh, the Atlas knows that there is a kind of challenge of the change or danger, the danger of the change. But preventing it, it struggles against the condition that should provoke its manifestation, its realization and the encounter with it. So, that is a kind of great field of activity that covers uh, most uh, important sides of ethnic life that represents the field of ethnodynamic or the struggle, active struggle of the ethnic society against not only changes, but also against the conditions of possibility of the changes. That is very important aspect of ethnic life. The ethnos lives struggling against all kind of changes. So the, the, the reason, the meaning of ethnic life is in this ethnodynamic level is conceived as obligation to everlasting reparation, restoration, and fight against the possibility of the change. So the change is possible, but is, it is considered to be absolutely negative. So that is a kind of moral obligation of the ethnic life to struggle against the possibility of the change. Uh, here we could identify first approximation of the figure of the other. The other is something that does not belong to the ethnic structure, something that is outside of the whole. So it is the root of the evil. The root of the evil is the possibility of the existence of the other. But the other, the figure of the other, in the ethnic stage of society, is something implicit, something non-manifested, and something that is prevented by the life of the ethnos. So that is the other that is excluded as a possibility because the ethnos includes everything. There is nothing outside of it that could be, that could exist. So the other doesn't exist. So, the, the other is nothing. And this nothing should be integrated as the destruction of the possibility to exist. There is the, the nothing that doesn't exist. And to say that something, that nothing doesn't exist is the same as to say that Adnos is all. Ethnos is absolutely universal, that doesn't let something to exist outside it, beside it. In the ethnos there is no the other, but in the ethnos there is thin and profound feeling of insecurity that is the possibility, the presumed possibility of the nothing to be. And against 
this possibility is directed ethnic ethno-dynamic as a kind of ethnic work against the possibility of the change as the apparition of the figure of the other the other that the the nothing that could be in order to nothing stay nothing at all uh, to stay no non-being the ethnos should always work and work hard to preserve what is and what is it is something universal that includes all and excludes only nothing but there is a hidden secret feeling or intuition that other could be and that is a kind of threat and this threat uh, is the threat of the new or the other and against precondition of the uh, manifestation of uh, such other uh, is directed all ethnic life shaman that repairs the reality that restores the everlasting souls of the ethnic community that tries to uh, to to unite open ends of the all possible cycles and circles in ethnic representation all that is these work of reparation or restoration at the same time uh, that is a kind of the lasting struggle against the new because uh, the uh, death is considered to be the birth and there are many rituals that are destined to prove that that the death is the birth the birth is the death and there is no such thing as disappearance, uh, disappearance of something or appearance from nowhere. Uh, there is no nowhere. There is no the death. Uh, the death and other life, the other side of life, as the life is other side of death. So the death and the life are interconnected and represent both part of one and the same reality, ethnic reality. And the shaman that is placed on the border uh, between them is precisely someone who repairs, who covers this distance between life and death, between the man and the animals, between the man and the gods or spirits. So he is repairing fig uh, figure and at the same time he is the center of ethno dynamic. So the real working class class in ethnic reality is shaman. He is working on, in the essence of the practice. He is most practical and most useful for the ethnos. And that's the reason why the ethnos cannot subsist without the shaman. The shaman is that who grants to uh, the ethnos the possibility to subsist because he is struggling against the uh, possibility of the other. He he, he, uh, he accomplished the functions of unification of all loose ends in ethnic life. So if there is uh, some, some illness, the shaman cures it because the illness adds intrusion of the other, of something that uh, obliged to lose some uh, completeness of human sane being. 
So healing is repairing. In storing the relations between dead, dead and living creatures, it also repairing. Uh, organizing uh, connections between the world of spirits and the world of living also is repairing. It is a work and that is dynamic work. That is a force. The force, the power that is uh, dispensed here. Uh, that uh, is a difference, uh, differential of potentiality. Because in order to be the same, the atmos should work and uh, working lose some energy invested in the conservation of the same. And this investition of the energies is a most important task of the shaman. So shaman activity could be regarded as the pra pra practice or agency of most important and central kind. So, thanks to Shaman that Atnos is what it is. And so, uh, in many ethnic, archaic tribes, there is a kind of interregnum periods, or the periods of the most profound sorrow that last between the deaths of one shaman and the, the election or manifestation of the other. It is a, a kind of dark age for the ethnic life because precisely in this moment when the one shaman uh, has gone and the other has not appear, uh, appeared, there is a possibility of any kind of danger to uh, of any kind of intrusion from the other that is kept implicit or camp kept outside of being precisely thanks to the ethnic labor ethnic work performed by shaman. It is a kind of sorrow comparable or most, mm, most uh, dangerous than uh, shortage of the uh, nourisher, nourishment or any other natural catastrophe. So it is a real historic and ethnic catastrophe because that, that is a kind of, uh, uh, of the normal existence of ethnic dynamic suspended uh, for some period of time. This suspension of uh, possibility to realize, to accomplish ethnodynamic work it is a kind of openness of the ethno, uh, ethnic society to any kind of danger, the, the danger of apparition of the other. So, beside the function of the shaman, that is most important figure in the ethno-dynamic there are many other forms of ethnodynamics practice. So, more or less, all ethnic practice are this, uh, oriented, oriented dir directed in the same sense. All processes, all, all activities in the ethnic life are directed in the same uh, in the same sense. So, working, ethnos is struggling 
for conservation of the same and against the possibility of the manifestation of the other. So, that is an everlasting struggle against entropy. We could call it ethno-socialization. Ethno-socialization it is, represents a kind of paradigm of any socialization, socialization in the complex society. It is a kind of matrix of any form of socialization. The sense of ethno-socialization is multi-level reaffirmation of the same. For example, there uh, is a kind of exchange of the word. Pronouncing the word ethnic member, the, the member of ethnos, reaffirms the word, its existence. So it rev uh, revive, uh, make revival of uh, the object called by this name. But what is most important, it is revivification, reactualization of the word as important point of ethnic structure. So it is uh, a kind of ritual conversation, ritual pronunciation of the sacred words, but every word in the ethnos is up to the certain point sacred, and pronouncing the word that uh, the, the member of the ethnic community ethno-socializes himself and also reaffirms ethnic community as the community of the language. For example, there are many cases when uh, some African tribes use to greet, greet themselves many times in the, the same day. For example, uh, including, including uh, the men and, and women that have passed across the other sometimes, many times in day, seeing, approaching each other, they greet each other saying hello and responding hello or uh, giving uh, some wishes of, of the um, sanity, of the good health or the happiness. And that lasts during every, every day. So it is not only the sign of mutual recognition that for that uh, is enough to say that hello once, for example. But what is the reason to say hello during all the day for the, the same persons? Uh, that is a kind of ethno-socializing of each other, uh, everlasting, restoring uh, each other position in the whole ethnic structure. So, giving the ritual uh, 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 greeting, the men reaffirm themselves and the other in the context of, of the, same, the same ethnic body. But that they make, making, uh, they uh, making operation of socializing each other. So they show the place of the words and of the persons in the social whole. And th that is a very, uh, uh, very important example of uh, how the process of socialization is most important than the physical or uh, material act. Symbolic aspect of socialization 
is most important that material consequences of that. That is very, very important point because that explain that physical work to get the nourishment, nourishment and uh, to, gi to, to give the possibility of material sub, uh, uh, revival, sur survival of the tribe, it is regarded, is regarded by the ethnic society as one form of socialization. So it is also the struggle against the possibility of new. And in this sense, the shortage, shortage, uh, shortage of the nourishment uh, could be regarded as a, a challenge, as a danger, because if there are too little uh, thing to eat, things to eat, there could follow the death. And so the loss of something that is considered to be the part of the ethnic coup. And the goal not to lose nothing from the ethnos is a kind of, uh, of moving force or dynamic aspect of ethnic life. So the people eat not because of material or biological necessity, but in the human society there is nothing biological. All is ethnical, all is human. And to struggle for the survival, it is not animalistic, animal struggle. It is something completely different. It is struggle against the possibility of the loss, loss of something. But the loss of something is danger for universality of the ethnos. It is a kind of challenge to the wholeness and universality of the ethno society. And in order to conserve all what is this, what is exactly as it is, it is mental, if you prefer, philosophical reason of the work in ethnos. A kind of socializing, because if you lose something in the case of the shortage of the of the nourishment, so it will be harm to the all-inclusive structure of the atmosphere. So, working, uh, working, laboring hard to get uh, the things to eat, nourishment, it is not physical obligation, material obligation, and never is considered an ethnic society as such. It is the part of ethno-socialization and the part of the this, this struggle against uh, the possibility of the other, of the loss. What is going on, what succeeds when gatherers or hunters collect too much of the food. That is also the challenge. There it, that is also the animality, exactly as the shortage is. So the tribe in this situation considered that as something sacred, sacred in the se two sense, that is something divine, but that something also that something dangerous. And the sacred should be sacrificed. So the food that is extraordinary, big or rich, or the other useful materials should be sacrificed to the spirits, to the dead, to 
the um, other being. So it is the reason of um, uh, what uh, some anthropologists, for example, Georges Bataille, French anthropologists, uh, call cursed path. Cursed path. So the cursed path, it is something that is not usual for the ethnos. That is something too much, that is too new or unusual for ethnic being, ethnic life. And that may be in positive sense, exactly as a negative sense. A shortage of uh, some extra of the food, for example, represent thing to destroy. If there is shortage, it should be filled by extra work. But if there is extra products, they should be destroyed in the sacred way. So it is the reason of the orgy, uh, and that is the reason of um, the sacred ceremony during which there is ritual destruction of the goods. Uh, that is the reason also of the potlatch ritual, when someone of the, of the tribe destroys consciously, consciously uh, the mm, goods to affirm and to deploy, to, to show its power. It is also important ritual to conserve ethnic structure exactly as they are, without minus or plus. So it is very important aspect that shows that that is nothing at all, that is nothing like material obligation to work, to get more. No, the, the, the reason of the ethnodynamic and all kind of ethnic practice, practices, the reason is to conserve as it is and to conserve exactly as it was it is and it should be without some defaults or some extras. It is a kind to, to conserve the same, socializing also the ambience. Because if you take some part from the nature, from the world around, you take that from the same circular being, so you should give in exchange something. That is also the reason of socializing, socializing, socializing the nature and so, uh, naturalizing, if you prefer, uh, the society. That should be the balance, the balance where, where all is at the same uh, zero-sum game. And to play the zero-sum uh, zero -sum game is also necessary in order to have this zero-sum. Because there is a kind of dark premonition in the ethnic life that the sum of the game should be slightly different from zero, or less than zero, or more than zero. And both cases, what is important, both cases, less than zero sum or more than zero sum, equally represent the challenge and the danger to ethnic existence. So the ethnos works, struggles, pays efforts in order to to conserve what is exactly. This, this zero sum is a goal. It is not only the practical status quo of ethnic life, that is a moral value 
that is something that Athens strives for. Uh, the sense of the conservation of this balance is uh, identified as most important reason of initiation by Russian anthropologist Vladimir Prop. That Vladimir Prop that started archaic society uh, by the way of the fairy tales, magical fairy tales, that according to the prop, according to prop, uh, conserve the most archaic features of uh, ancient societies and could be regarded as such as typical ethnic groups. So, in these fairy tales, there is, uh, uh, by different peoples and by diff different ethnic groups, there is uh, repeating um, subject, uh, scenario, repeating, always repeating scenarios, where uh, hunter, for example, kills the animal and the animal kills the hunter. So it is a kind of balance restore, restored. If the hunter kills the animal in order to survive and to conserve ethnic completeness in the real practice of the hunting, the opposite is done during initiation, when that, this, that this time that is the hunter that is killed and eaten by the animal symbolically represented in, uh, by the spirit, by a ghost, by the mythical totemic animal and so on. That is the reason of initiation. In order to receive, you should give. If you kill, you should be killed. If you eat, you should be eaten. Because that is the reason of dynamic attitude to the who. So, that this symbolic action to be killed, to be eaten, uh, to be frightened, it is a kind to, to die. It is a possibility to revival, to resuscitate and to, to be, to be, to, to continue uh, human activity in the balance of the world. So it is also a kind of most important so socializing practice. Initiation is the sense of ethno-dynamic work also, because in this situation there, there is exchange between, uh, between uh, society and the nature. And also that is a kind of uh, parental relations between them. That is a kind of marriage between humans and animals uh, and uh, different stories, archaic stories of marriage between different kinds, between humans and animals, uh, it is also regarded as uh, explication or in the myth of this mutual exchange of the force because all universe in ethnodynamic vision is regarded as circulation of the forces, of the powers, of the energies of different kind. All of them should be should be installed in the kind of 
circulation and in the limits of zero so sum game. Because if there will be some power or some energy that will be extra in some situation that endangers absolutely the whole, that could be the reason of the catastrophe. That is why it is called cursed part. Cursed part uh, precisely because if the ethno, ethnic group, the ethnic group cannot manage to master, to submit uh, these force, uh, it could destroy universe. So it is cursed, and uh, that that could um, uh, be the reason of the great catastrophe. So that is the reason why Athens is struggling against linear time against accumulation of the good and all kind of development, linear development. As the group not only does not know the progress of linear time, it does not want the, pro the progress or linear time. More than that, the Atnas struggles being Atnas against possibility of linear time or accumulation of the good or a progress. The ethnos is not only non-progressive community, it is anti-progressive community that recognizes what we call progress as a greatest danger for its identity, as the apparition of the other, the, the other or malign nothingness that could uh, destroy completely the ethnic structure. So that is the evil. And the, if ethnostatic attitude to et ethno, ethnos doesn't recognize at all the existence of the other, in the level of ethnodynamic, we could dimly presume the possibility of this existence. And in this situation, all the force of ethnic existence is directed against this possibility of the manifestation of the other. But the other is this, the, the root of the evil. The evil that exists in the static vision, there is no place for evil. But the ethnodynamic, it is a kind of feeling of the possibility of the nothingness or nothing to be. So that is possibility of the other and the possibility of the reality of the evil. The evil as uh, that something that is cursed and should uh, provoke the curse against the ethnic group if it wouldn't be placed in the some sacred limits and uh, if uh, there will be not uh, some special ceremonies em uh, employed. So, uh, that is uh, also um, uh, initiation. That is the reason of, or that is the most important ritual of ethno socialization. But there are the other kinds of ethno socialization. For example, work or economy. Economy in the ethnic stage, it is precisely the form of ethno socializing and uh, uh, initiation.
it is a kind of ethnodynamic uh, orientated to restore and, and conserve the same on the physical level. So uh, the people work for get food, use the food to be the same, but there is not such casual, uh, causal uh, relations between uh, the reasons uh, and the goals and the only existing a real reason that uh, obliges uh, the, the people to work is precisely this process of ethno-socialization. But there are the other kind of ethno-dynamic, for example, marriage. The marriage uh, it cons is conceived in the ethno-dynamic level as the exchange between two halves of the ethnic group of the brides, uh, exchange uh, of uh, the women. And by doing, doing this, this by accomplishing this exchange and, and of marriage, thanks to it, to it, it is granted granted continuation of the family and uh, creation of new creature that will replace in the future existing one. That is why in some people. Uh, they give the name of the uh, grandfather to the uncle, to the, um, the, the, the name, personal name of grandfather uh, to the grandson. grandson. They give uh, the name of grandfather to the grandson because the name is in the ethnic community, uh, what is real in, in the reality? It is person, it is mask, uh, and individual is secondary. So they think that the grandfather is exactly the same as grandson. And the, uh, the, 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 the symbol of that is that they uh, have the same name. But it is interesting that we could consider more or less this practice as idea that grandfather is going out and grandson is coming in. So that is a kind of transition between person going out, passing away, and the person uh, that, uh, that comes in the existence as continuation of the same uh, person because the person is the name so the grandson is the grandfather as person they are different individually but personally they are uh, the same because the ethnos and ethnic community is one and the same community. Uh, or there could be the other uh, forms of this circulation of the same persons in the ethnos, but that is a clear example of why it is, uh, why they uh, give the same name, not to the father and the son, but to the grandfather and grandson. Because in the moment when the grandson will be grown, adult, grandfather in the ethnic society will pass away. So the same person will be, uh, will acquire its uniqueness in that uh, situation. So there are uh, the other uh, concepts of uh, ethno-socialization. Uh, uh, marriage also uh, it is uh, not, not always is 
it sought to be uh, to be the um, reason of birth of new children. So in some tribes, there are no logical link between marriage and sexual intercourse and the birth of the children. For example, uh, on the Trobriand uh, Islands, there is uh, ancient tradition that women uh, have uh, uh, intercourse with uh, the uh, human men and they could not uh, create nothing. It is a kind of lust. And there is a special intercourse in the dream with some spirits of the sea. That are those who are reason of the birth of the children. So the children are regarded as children of their mothers and the spirits of the sea. So fathers are only friends or partners uh, of uh, the mothers and uh, have absolutely nothing to do with uh, the inception of the child. So that is important, but marriage nevertheless is very important because the marriage creates a condition or for the uh, woman to uh, attract the, the uh, spirit of the sea. Uh, and sexual enthusiasm uh, for the human man attracts also in the dream uh, the presence of the um, spirit of the sea that creates a future child. So there is not uh, mechanical or physiolog physiological uh, impulses that oblige in uh, the uh, ethnic society to conclude the marriages. The marriage is sociological institution that is also the form to recreate or restore, repair the wholeness. And uh, that is also the kind of ethno-socialization. Uh, there is the other uh, form of ethno-socialization. Is, it is socialization of, uh, the, of the dead. Because uh, the, uh, because the dead is considered to be an uh, existing person, the person that is passing on the other side, that is as real as this side. So, if and the other side, the death side, represent also ethnos, because the people of ethnic society live half on this side and half on the other side. So, ethnos exist beyond the grave. And the passage from this world to the other world and the possibility of the return to the same world and passing away uh, and so and so in circular motion is granted by socializing of the dead. It's very important. All the rituals of burial, all the posthumous rites, they are uh, in some tribes very sophisticated and uh, in some situations there are act of sacred cannibalism of the dead that is used. For example, uh, the grandsons and the sons of some ethnic tribes should, uh, should eat the rests of the, um, of the corpse of the, their father or grandfather in order to re-socialize socialize them in uh, the uh, living half 
of the ethnos. And to grant by this uh, difficult, difficultly, difficult imaginable uh, for us ritual, uh, also to grant their own part in the other half of the ethnos, because the death is also the ethnic, is conceived to be ethnic. And the dead persons are living persons on the other, other sides. And on the other side, they also stay, uh, stay the persons of the same ethnos. So that is very important to, to die according to some uh, special, special rites and to be buried and uh, the, the special rites should be performed after uh, the death. It is a kind of confirmation of the existence of the, that person in the context of the ethnic whole and also uh, the necessity for the living part of ethnos to be uh, accordingly accepted in the part of the dead on the other half of the ethnic whole. So we could um, here evoke also the concept of total delivery of Marcel Moss. We have spoken already about him uh, in earlier lectures. And uh, all the kind of total deliveries studied by uh, Marcel Moss enters perfectly, perfectly, enters, enter perfectly in the context of ethnodynamic. All kind of global exchange with there is some uh, game then in the situation when there are, uh, according to Marcel Moss, uh, a kind of force linked to any object of exchange. It is called by Maori how the some power that could be very uh, malevolent, that could represent uh, the danger if it should, if it not uh, will be returned in the exchange. So uh, there is a kind of delivery, total delivery, that everybody should give to the other. And receiving the gift, you should give the other gift uh, to the other or to the same, same person. That it that is considered to be circulation of the sacred power that could be benign, but that could be also malevolent if the gift will be not returned to the same person or to the other. So that is also an uh, explication of profound roots of special ethnic economy studied by ethnos, that is economy of the gift. And that is directed against accumulation of the goods as a cursed path that should be ritually destroyed. So it is also important, important aspect of uh, the ethno uh, dynamic. Uh, the market in this situation is a place of everlasting exchange of the good, uh, the goods that never should enrich nobody or uh, make someone more poor than it was before. Uh, the circulation is the circulation of the same primitive goods or objects that should be given and should be received. And that is the sense of uh, market. So market economy in the archaic ethnic society uh, is directed 
to the goal that is opposite of the market in the developed uh, complex societies. So the sense of the market, it is not to enrich uh, persons, but to keep all exactly in the same situation, but with some considerable, considerable loss of the forces uh, of the energies, because to, to organize the exchange and market exchange, uh, the people need to, um, to pay interior uh, inner energies. But at the same time, the gain consists not only in the material, the possession of material object, but mostly in the joy of receiving the gift and in the joy of giving the gift. Because in the potlatch, in the ritual of potlatch, we see it clearly. When some, someone destroys its own goods, it manifests, uh, he manifests by that his own joy, our happiness, uh, out of, uh, uh, that he manifests that he is autosufficient. And that provokes uh, also the reaction, because to destroy its own property is a kind of heroic act and the symbol of the liberty in front of the material aspect of uh, the uh, things. And this, as a, a, a consequence of this demonstration of the spiritual force, is a kind of hierarchical relations between uh, the person who, who can accomplish potlatch, destruction of its uh, property, and the people who cannot uh, make the same, the same uh, the same action. So that is uh, from the demonstration of independence in the front of the material aspect of the goods and kind of liberation of the sacred force living in the material objects uh, results the power uh, and authority uh, and uh, hierarchical spiritual position uh, in the society. All that is, uh, all that is um, uh, explained not by extravagant attitude of the primitive tribes towards the reality and the social organization, but we need to understand that as a kind of ethnodynamic uh, up to the certain point, conscious, consciously, conscious uh, strategy of some special kind of society. So, ethnodynamic is uh, a kind of understanding by ethnos of its moral obligation and a kind of ethnical project. Ethnos, ethnos wants to live destroying the new and preventing uh, the changes and always placing the other in the realm of the nothingness. So here uh, uh, we have reached the end of this part of ethno-sociology, ethno-dynamic, and we will continue with uh, the study of ethno-kinetic aspect of ethnos in the next lecture. Uh, and now for some questions on our lecture. Um, the first question I have is, uh, you discussed uh, in the Ethnos the ritual destruction of excess. 
through uh, the medium of sacrifice, uh, sacrifice to the, the sacred. Um, and you also discussed um, the uh, similar uh, process with the practice of potlatch and uh, the gift economy. And um, I don't want to delve too much into uh, Marxism here, but um, this uh, idea of a uh, seeking uh, a prevention of material accumulation. Um, I, first, I would ask if this uh, material accumulation then might be the original fall from grace, as it were, of the ethnos as a, a social form. And perhaps related to that is a, a similar question on the uh, specialization of labor within an ethnos. Um, I'm uh, won't, not exactly sure how you characterize that, but um, I'm operating under the assumption that the ethnos is primarily economically a hunter-gatherer society. So then would the special, specialization of labor leading to material accumulation provide the fall of the ethnos? Thank you for this very important question. These kind of arguments um, was studied by um, Georges Bataille, especially, because he was leftist, up to a certain point Marxist, and also very interested by uh, archaic primitive societies. And he was introduced this concept of cursed path precisely to make a parallel between communism seen by Marx and the, the uh, communism of the cave as what precisely called it by Marx himself. Primitive communism. Primitive communism, but also the communism of the cave. cave. Primitive mm -hmm. communism, because in the ethnic society there is no, not only difference in, uh, in possession of material goods, but also not, not any kind of social uh, certification. So there is Equality, equality that is not only absence of uh, absence of the existence of the differences, but as in the static, ethnostatic form, but also that is a kind of will to react against the possibility of inequality. So, ethnos could be considered to be real communist society with communist program, ethno-communist program, not only status quo, preserving status quo of absence of social stratification, but also ethno-dynamic show us that there is the will to be equal, not only status quo, but also the will, and this will to be equal is manifested precisely in the ritual uh, liquidation, annihilation of the excessive part of the food or, or, or other material uh, goods. But uh, what is important, and we will study that in the following lectures, uh, that what you have called the fall from the grace. What is it exactly? How in this ethnic society that strives consciously to restore always the same, could something new be introduced? Because it, it is obviously it is fall of the grace. It is obviously a catastrophe for ethnic society, accumulation of goods, or starting of inequality, material and or, or social stratification, is a quite of catastrophe. But Marxism doesn't explain why it was produced. So it fixed that that was produced, and that is clearly, that was historical fact, not 
everywhere and not with any kind of society. Because now, in our time, there are societies that are living in the ethnic communist situation. They are not so numerous, but they nevertheless exist in the Amazonka, in the Africa, in the same, some islands in the uh, Pacific. But there are communist society, ethno-communist society, the communism of the Cape. So, uh, we could fix this passage from the ethnic communist society to uh, the start of the accumulation of the goods of inequality and social certification. But uh, Marxists uh, don't uh, explain, they don't explain it. Mm -hmm. uh, in our course, we will try to give our vision in the in the in the concept uh, in the in the limits of the ethno sociology so communism uh, is the irretrievable past rather than the inevitable future yes yes <laughs> yes past or also it is kind of social level on some social level or on the ethnic level we are all communist ethnic communist sharing something for example sharing for nothing or exchanging something for nothing, for the, for example, the words. Uh, we are in common in communism. Uh, today also, also today, not only so the, the past exists in yes, the present. Yes. And uh, concerning uh, uh, division of the labor, uh, that is also the fact that in the primitive societies uh, there is not division of the labor. Except by gender. Gender, only gender, exactly, exactly. There is only one kind of uh, division of labor, it's gender. Maybe extreme youth and age. Uh, yes, but also there are different conceptions of the age, because uh, what is age also, it is, it is a special subject. But what is interesting that the gender, for example, hunter and gatherers, Mostly in this ethnic primitive society, men are hunters and women are gatherers. So hunters could go further from the um, village. Uh, and uh, women, gatherers, are around, around the village by the reasons that most part of their life women in the ethnic society are pregnant. So it is difficult for them to go uh, far. So they are uh, more or less pregnant always. Or they are linked uh, to the children. They should uh, regard uh, uh, them, care for them. Care, of, care for them. And they, uh, that is the reason why they uh, are around um, uh, around the village, and uh, but that is the only way. All the other practices are most or less, more or less the same for all members of of the uh, of the tribe. But at the same time, the shaman shaman possesses some special exception uh, except, uh, exceptionally practices that are. are uh, reserved only for shaman. So, uh, but in the, in, in the economic realm, there is no division of the labor. And uh, the division of the labor uh, appears in some moment of the passage from the ethnic society uh, to the other form. And we will study also this division of the labor in the ethno-sociological sense, uh, speaking about ethno-kinetic in the future lecture. So? Mm -hmm.